In, in these uncertain times for everyone, uh, this includes post-secondary students, many of them finished their school year with virtual classes and now uh, many of them are being told either we don't know what's going to happen in September or you're going to be staying online. Christopher Zwagstra is starting medical school at McGill University in Montreal this fall and he joins me from Laval, Quebec. Good to see you, Christopher. Hey, good to see you too. Thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here. So you are going to have to go online in September, I guess. How do you feel about that? It's a bit of a strange feeling. Um, it's not, it's one that we kind of saw coming, but I'm wondering what it's going to look like for us because as medical students, it's important to, very important to have that hands-on approach and uh, to be not learning only through theory, but also through, uh, through our presence and working with our hands. So I'm wondering how that's going to play out. Uh, if it's a very theoretical course, it won't make much of a difference, but we're definitely going to be missing the labs if those aren't able to be accommodated next semester. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if you think or are worried that you might get a sort of different quality of, of teaching or education because you'll be missing some of that. And the fact is when you're face to face with someone, things are just different anyway. Absolutely. So everything changes when you're, when you're doing it in person. And I completely agree with you. It's, almost impossible to have a complete education experience in medicine without having in-person labs. And, and the fact that you are uh, going, you, I guess you want to be a doctor. <laughs> Let me just, I'm just going to ask you a personal question. Has any of this sort of made you think twice or, or rededicated you to that idea? I'd say no, no, it's, it's inspiring to see the work of other medical professionals during a time of crisis. And that's something that I definitely want to do. Um, however, it's just a little bit disheartening because I want to be well prepared for that. And I feel that a, an online format won't allow me to do that. So, so what are you going to do? You're, you're just going to go back and give it your best? Well, that's one of the, that's one of the only options we're given. And uh, perhaps they'll prepare some form of virtual lab for us. But as I said, it's a bit incomplete. But absolutely, we're going to give it 100%, 100% of the time. And uh, we'll learn the theory, the theory as best we can. And if, uh, if they can't accommodate us, then we'll probably just uh, make up for it in the, in the subsequent years with uh, hopefully in-person labs at that time. Okay, Christopher Zogstra, he starts medical school at McGill University in September in some form. Maybe we'll see you back here on, on one of these shows as an expert one day. Thank you very much, Christopher. Thank you. Have a great night.